Hello everyone and welcome to week two of this My Hero Once Justice 2 tournament. Today we have yet again three contestants and obviously I thank them all for their submissions. And to anyone that's new here, you can submit your gameplay and be part of this tournament by emailing me at mrrelbronanescool at gmail.com or leaving the link in the comment section of any of my videos. And yeah, that's how you can be part of this tournament as well. So the first contestant we have today is Roberto Garcia with a Todoroki. Let's see how this goes. Let's get straight into the match. Ooh, okay, so Roberto starts off with a dodge. Two points for dodging that red attack right off the bat. And going to a bit of Todoroki zoning at the beginning, but that's fine. That's what his game plan is. He's gotten quite a few hits in. Wow. Okay, two points for that as well. A slight counter there, but kind of didn't really work, so that's just it. <laughs> How? What? He just went straight through it? Okay, sure. A wall splat. Oh no. That was lucky for him. That Gangwonka could have thrown him to the wall. Oh, but he got the wall splat. Very nice. And ooh, is this a... Damn, that was interesting. So like a reset off of the wall splat by using the ice slide so the opponent recovers into the ice. That's pretty smart. I might look into that see how effective that can be. Another nice dodge. Ooh, but got hit by the opponent's Jiro. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Bruh. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Damn, Todoroki just chased him down. Fight! Oh, couldn't dodge that one. Don't get caught off guard. Don't turn a blind eye. No freedom for you. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> How many times can you say don't? Oh, okay. Roberto getting the counter hit to get the victory, leaving him 25 points just in the first round. Pretty impressive stuff. My anaconda don't! Ooh. Straight up with the red mix up. Oh, tried to do it again on Wake Up. That's a little bit too risky there, Roberto. And his opponent, Gangorka, keeps choosing to not throw him into the wall, which I guess is really lucky for him, but. Oh, damn. Wow, Toroki's attack string is really good. He keeps it. Oh, I'm going in for a full combo here. He's got full supports. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh, nice pressure there. It made his block string safe and his opponent also got hit by it. So it's a win-win block string mix-up pressure situation. Pretty good. Ooh. Nice dodge by the gang hooker of the fireball and punished him with the red attack. Wow. Going straight with the plus ultra. Damn, he's making kind of a comeback. Ooh. Had the support yeah, just to right. Oh no. No, Roberto! No, you had it in the bag. Oh, damn it. King Orc is coming for you. But at least you have this whole other round to rack up points. But Gang Orc is just going out. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh no. Roberto! I can feel my. Come on! No! Hey! We got a counter hit fireball. Oh! He nearly had a full combo there. He's got full supports and full meter, so he's gonna make the hit when he lands it. It's gonna hurt. Oh, we're going for it now, Roberto. I believe in you. Let's not drop it again. Okay, got the zero extension. It's going well. Yes! <laughs> And he's still got Aizawa. Uh. Bruh. Well, I mean, it was still pretty cool. <laughs> okay, and a nice combo to finish it off. There we go. Okay, so adding those points, he's up to 47. And with the adjustment factors, for Berto, I think he had some really good stuff. He had to, uh, a few unfortunate, very unfortunate combo drops with his plus ultra combos, which could have led to a lot more points, but unfortunately he lost a few from there. But he did have some really good stuff, like interesting setups and zoning, like where he did the uh, reset off of the wall. He, there's some interesting potential there. So I'm going to give him eight adjustment factors. 
taking him all the way up to a score of 54. Good job, Roberto. Let's move on to the next match. Okay, so our next contestant will be playing Momo. And honestly, they're quite a noob at the game. They've been playing since My Hero 1's Justice 1, and they're still kind of garbage. He drops combos all over the place, no matter how many times he practiced them in training mode. And yeah, honestly, it's just embarrassing. And also, he's me. Fight! Oops, starting off with an instant dodge out of Toga's way. Going for some resources. Oh, just straight into the red attack. Okay. Getting a splat of damage. Charged up the laser cannon that Momo has for some reason. Some, oh, a lot of staggers there. Switching it up, more staggers into the string, into the red attack. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Poor Toga. She got hit by every one of those mix-ups in that string there, so... Wow. Gonna get uh, five points for that. Uh, no, honestly, that was so rude. Not only did she break it for no reason, but also why did that why did that media blow? I'm only getting triggered because this is my own gameplay and I know I can feel the emotions that I felt while playing this. You're so dumb! You are really dumb! For real! What was that? Mr. Elberonin, why would you do that? Why would you do that? You know that's not a combo. Why would you ever do that? Oh no. See, this Toga player nearly has better combos than I do. Okay, messed up that combo as well. Good job, good job, me. Denied. Ooh. And went through the E to support. I got the confirm off of the weapon throw. Dash cancelled in and did the yellow attack to avoid the E to... Mm, pretty good stuff, if I do say so myself. Okay, just going for a proper combo this time instead of continually doing the same reset over and over again. <laughs> And if you do notice, I was choosing to stay in the pole stance instead of choosing the other weapons. Because when you're against a character like Toga, um, you want to make sure that you have a really quick weapon. Oh, wait, wait. Shut up. I'm going for a cool combo here. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. I agree. I can't believe that. That was going to be so you cool. Are done. I had the... So what the hell was that? But in that combo then, I had the Jiro support, and then I charged up my sword, so I could have done the attack string, into the sword throw, into another attack string, into plus... It would have been so good, and then she broke it. I cannot forgive you. Can't believe you've done this. Also, you know, just me doing some more dumb stuff while I was talking. <laughs> hey, I dodged that though. Got kind of a bad punish, but you know, I dodged it. Tried to anti air her with my yellow attack there, but it did not work. What am I do? Why do I keep doing yellow attacks? I just ended that combo early for no reason. Oh, weapon throw confirmed. Hey, that was a quick match, but it's nothing to brag about because it honestly wasn't that good. <laughs> um, yeah, so for adjustment factors, Mr. Elberonin, uh, I feel like your gameplay was exceptionally average. The only thing that was really impressive was some of your staggers. And I can see some of the strategy behind you keeping the pole out, which is more effective against Zona, so you can more easily get in, because you're faster. But other than that, I mean, there wasn't anything that impressive, so I'm only going to give you an adjustment factor of, uh, six. An adjustment factor of six. Nice daggers, a little bit of strategy, not much else. Look forward to seeing you improving, Mr. Elberonin. Okay, so next we have Sam Joe, who will be playing with Aizawa. And Joe actually informed me in his submission that he only got the game on Christmas, and he sent this submission on New Year's Eve. So, he's a pretty new one to the game, but trust me, he's not far behind the rest of the pack. It's pretty impressive gameplay for someone that's only had it for this long, so... So enjoy this Trailblazers gameplay! Let's get right into it. Um, also, just quick note, Joe's gameplay is a recording of his Nintendo Switch, so there is no audio for the gameplay, so oops. So, starting off, both opponents kind of go into neutral, kind of feeling each other out since they're both up-close characters. Ooh, falls for the yellow attack. Oh, and just getting caught there. Maybe release block just for a split second that got hit by it. <laughs> okay, Why? going in for the punish on that yellow attack, I'm surprised. Ooh, wow! So he actually chose to go for that wall splat there. He had the option for going for regular combo, but he decided to throw them, so smart decision. And nice combo! It ended it with the quirk steal. That very impressive stuff. Lots of damage and has the utility. Uh, 
They're both playing very patient for brawler characters. I guess they're quite worried about the damage potential they both have, and... Ooh. Kendo dropped her combo there. Okay. Okay. That's just gonna be one point, because Kendo broke the combo. Psych! Okay, another punish. I'll just give one point for the yellow punishes from now on, because it seems like it's more Kendo's fault than Joe's. But still, going well. Oh, using the Jiro in neutral for the pressure. Oh, shut up, you're oh. so annoying! <laughs> Kendo keeps breaking his combos. How does she always have a support? At least they're gone for a while now. He's not going to be able to get a full combo, because, you know, she doesn't have much health. Okay. Oh, tries to go into the red attack. Doesn't get punished for it, though. That's handy. <laughs> doesn't punish her yellow attack either. But, you know, ooh, and slide drop combo there, but it's still going to be worth a point. <laughs> I think he's trying to end it fancily by you doing, like, a quirk one kick or something, but, yeah. Just ends up doing it with a regular attack string, then. Okay. Trying to get up and close again. He's sick of the waiting out in the neutral. Yeah, all these side steps in the neutral can be really annoying. Even for a player like myself who plays it for a while, I do not like the neutral of this game. Joe's being forced to play it quite a lot. Kendo's being pretty adamant in staying in neutral range. So, yeah, and he's being forced to whiff a lot. Nice whiff punished by Kendo. Into a dropped combo again, unfortunately. Maybe there's a bit of lag or something that we can't see. Okay. Yeah, simple combo from Kendo. Maybe she's trying to save her meter and supports for something bit bigger later. And, oh. <laughs> Joe keeps getting the hit, and Kendo keeps breaking it. Come on, Joe, I believe in you. Just get a hit when she doesn't have supports. I want to see your combos. Denied. Oh my god. This is starting to hurt. Ooh. I don't know Ooh. what the incentive is. A lot of people do that online, doing like plus ultras on wake up, but I don't really see what that's trying to achieve. Kendo's really loving her red attack, though. Come on, I'm just praying that Joe gets the hit. Oh, he got it. And confirms into a combo. Let's see what he has. Oh, he's extending it with his zero support. And he's going straight into a plus ultra so it doesn't scale anymore. That is definitely going to kill. Holy moly. That was going to be a lot of damage. Holy dooly. Okay, taking up to 51 points with the victory 10 points. Jeez, okay. Now, for his adjustment factors, Unfortunately, he did not get too many opportunities to show his combos, but when he did, he came through and showed us some pretty interesting ones. But other than his combos, he was kind of forced to be in neutral a lot of the game, and that doesn't really allow Aizawa to shine. But overall, especially for a beginner that's only had the game for like a week or two, that was very impressive gameplay, so I'm going to give you 6 points for adjustment factors, taking you up to a total of 57. Good job, Joe. I've looked forward to seeing your gameplay in the future. I'm very impressed. Okay, so that brings us to the conclusion of week two of this My Hero 1 Justice 2 tournament. Today's contestants were not as horrifyingly dominating as last week's contestants, but don't worry, they were impressive nonetheless. I appreciate all of your submissions, and good job with your gameplay, especially those of you that are really new to the game. That is super impressive. And as I say, all levels of... All skill levels are welcome in this tournament because it's just for a bit of fun. So, thank you for all of your submissions. Congratulations to Roberto and Joe. And obviously, because they're such interesting game players, I recommend you go check out their channels because I appreciate their submissions. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this far into the video. Yes, thanks for watching. Bye. See you next week.